Alrighty guys, what's up? Invader1 here again, and I am back with some more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer badassery. And yes, I know that you guys were hoping that my sexy, sexy assistant slash secretary slash cook slash chef slash caretaker slash mechanic slash housekeeper uh, would be doing the intro here, but uh, I had to give her a break for the day. Uh, she asks for a lot of time off. So yeah, you know, um, something about not getting paid enough to do certain things, so I had to give her the break. So, uh, long story short, you know, that's that's pretty much what happened. So, yeah, you guys are not getting an intro for my sexy, sexy assistant slash secretary slash all of the above. Uh, now, now that that's out of the way, I do want to tell you guys that I am working, I actually already did um, two other gameplay videos for characters that you guys have been asking for. For example, one is the Human Sentinel, uh, the, the, the regular vanilla Sentinel. It's a character that I think is um, pretty cool. I, I think he's a little limited in some aspects. He's very powerful, extremely powerful actually, but... Um, I, I personally prefer all the characters over him, but I, I do like him to a certain extent, uh, and I will talk about him in that video. I just want to let you guys know that I already got a video for it, and it's coming up soon. And at the same time, I am going to be working on the on some of the other adepts. Um, you guys have been asking for uh, a few other ones, so I am going to be working on those vividly and getting you guys some videos. Now, by the way. Uh, the, uh, this is a uh, destroyer gameplay, and the reason I, you know, I've done destroyer build before uh, when he first came out and all that, but so much has changed with him. And at the same time, I don't want, just want to talk about the builds. I, I actually want to talk a little bit about this guy because I know that some of you guys have been seeing me pug gold and pug platinum. By the way, this is a pug platinum. I don't know anyone here. I you know, I did a Pug Gold game before, and you guys are like, oh, man, that's cool, you know, doing all the Pug stuff, and then, um, I figured, well, let me do a Pug Platinum, you know, so you guys can see, yeah, you know, I Pug Platinum here and there, and then whatever, it, had, it works out, so, uh, this is a Pug Plat Platinum game, I don't know these people, and, um, I decided to bring in, um, my Particle Rifle Destroyer build, now, the reason I, I, I wanted to show this build and uh, talk about it a little bit is because um, uh, a lot of people have been asking me about it. Uh, I had a friend of mine who kind of started this build for me at some point, some time ago. His name is Long John. He used to you know rock this build a lot. And then um, I, I don't remember all the details of how he spec'd his out, but uh, we did talk about it once and. Um, I kind of made some modifications to uh, how I handle the character, um, but so far this build is absolutely insane. Um, I like playing the destroyer this way. Uh, when he first came out, the missiles were pretty much stupid; like they were just crappy. I do have a video when it, when he first came out. We were doing a uh, platinum glacier run, and you know I had this guy with the uh, with the typhoon at the time, and the typhoon was absolutely amazing at the time. Even at level one, where I had it, it was just d destroying everything. It was insane. Um, they nerfed it since then, so now it's still a decent gun, but it's it's nowhere near, not even like nowhere near the way it was at that at that time. But whatever, it is what it is. It's still a decent gun. It still works. Um, it's still a little bit of a paperweight for me. Um, I don't use it often. I don't use the Typhoon often, but um, but whatever, it is what it is. Now this is uh, to me this is one of the most effective builds for the Destroyer, and uh, using the Particle Rifle on him is so good. If you guys don't have the Particle Rifle, you guys can use pretty much any other weapon, like um, you know Harry or or you can use. Um, the saber. I mean, you can use any of the assault rifles, any heavy shotguns. Um, the way it works is that this guy is a really good weapons class. I know that a lot of people like to use the Geth because they have um, Geth Hunter Vision, Geth Hunter Mode, which gives you uh, rate of fire, damage, uh, weapon damage bonuses, and all that. This guy has a lot of those too. Um, he has good, with Devastated Mode, he has good rate of fire bonuses. He has good weapon damage bonuses on his passives. He's actually a really, really good character when it comes to weapons. So. So I like him a lot for that, and um, that's why I, you know, I use him this way, and, and I just, you know, I rock him this way. But this this build, um, I have been using it throughout the week in pug lobbies, and uh, it's been interesting because 
I, th I think most people are not used to seeing the destroyer um, do this much damage. Uh, like I, I'll go into some pug lobbies, and um, I've been asked, like, how in the world are you, like, how are you specked out? Like, well, you know, what are you doing? Like, what, what's going on there? Because I'm just running around, just destroying everything. Now, there's a few things that do go into this, and that I'll talk about the build. Obviously, the ammo types are important, and you know, all that stuff. And I will tell you about that. Um, in regards to the build, uh, what I like about uh, using on this build, is, and, and I know that you, some of you guys are going to be like, Well, Invader, I like the grenades. I like the grenades. You, listen, the grenades are awesome, guys. I think the grenades are absolutely amazing. I like this build with the missiles better. The reason I like it more is because, number one, the missiles just keep on going. You know, I don't have to worry about finding an ammo box, you know, whatever. Um... I also like the fact that I have a particle rifle, which again, you know, sometimes I may overheat here and there. Um, I get a little too overzealous, uh, which I shouldn't be overheating, but sometimes it happens. Um, so I don't have to worry about ammo with the particle rifle. And um, so, you know, having that mindset, I have the missiles that stagger the enemies. And I also have a weapon that can, you know, constantly reload itself. That's a good thing, and, and and I would I would assume that using the Lancer 10 on this guy, it will be the same idea. Once you get the Lancer, uh, you can actually you know use the same kind of build and go through the same mindset, you know, the same idea of how to use this guy that way. So um, let's go through the uh, let's go through the build because again things have changed with this guy. He is not. You know, he, his missiles are different, and I want to talk a little bit about how I set up Devastator mode so that I could use his missiles and not have a huge penalty on his shields, because uh, that's one of the biggest things. So, what I do in Devastator mode uh, on rank 4, I go for shield recharge delay. Oh, and by the way, before I continue, the build is at on the end of the video. I you, know, you guys do get to see the build. I, I, I'm not like skipping out on that. You will see the build at the end. You just want to go to the build, go right ahead. You can just jump at the end. Um, so, rank four, devastating mode. Go for shield recharge delay, like that. You know, I get my shields come back a little quicker. Um, and also on rank five, this is very important for very important. You you should go for magazine size. I know the rate of fire is really good. Uh, that depends on the gun you're using, but if you have a using the gun like a particle rifle, and at the same time, even like the Lancer or the weapons that you you know that that you have this kind of mindset where you're gonna constant, um, you know, the, the the gun is gonna constantly refill itself. Um, you're gonna want to go for magazine sizes, especially with the particle rifle, so like that you can just have a lot, a lot of clips. And, you know, you could just keep on going and going and going. Um, and when you look at it, if you look at my clip size, it's over 200. You know, it's 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 pretty big. It's it's really high. So this is what helps it out. The magazine size um, increased by 15% is really good for that. I also go in rank six for max shields. So like that, my max shields increased by 40%, which is also really good. So I'm kind of making this guy a little tanky um, because his mobility is when his devastator mode is on. His mobility is not the greatest. He is much faster now than before. Uh, when he first came out, he was extremely slow. I mean, you needed to use this guy with Adrenaline Module 3 or 2 or whatever, because he was just way too slow. You could not use him without Adrenaline Module. Uh, I mean, you could, but it's just, you were so damn slow. Um, so now he's not that slow, which is great. That's why I don't use Adrenaline Module on him all the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Most of the times I do anyways, but that's just besides the point. Now, for the missile launcher, what's interesting is that, um, so, you know, for the missile launcher rank four, since you guys know that you do get a you do get a penalty for on your shields, um, for using for, for using the hawk missiles. So what I do, and it's a um, fifty percent uh, shield penalty. Now. What I do in rank four to reduce that on rank four, I choose shield, reduce shield penalty by forty percent. That's what I go for on the missiles. So like that, I am not really. I'm making sure that I am counteracting, you know, the penalty on the shields. So that is that's the way I, you know, that's the way I recommend it because it, it really helps out, especially if you're in platinum like this. You know, you're getting hit from all sides, and in platinum, it seems like. 
just it, their enemies are so powerful, and you get insta dropped so quickly. So you want to have as much, you, you know, you want to be as tanky as possible, uh, depending on the character, right? A character like this doesn't have much mobility. You want to be very tanky. So that's what I go for rank four. Rank five, I go for refire time, and the reason I go for refire time instead of the um, the effectiveness against armor targets. Is because I'm not really, you know, I don't care about the missile hitting armor targets, like destroying armor targets. The missile is already really powerful itself as it is. What I want the missiles to do is I want it to constantly fire and stagger the smaller enemies. I want it to stagger uh, uh, marauders. I want it to stagger. Uh, I, I want it to stagger uh, the, the 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 husks. The the you know the smaller mooks. The smaller enemies that are constantly in your face so re by having the refire time uh, you know reduced uh, and make it go faster um, then your your hawk missiles are constantly you know shooting out and that's obvious but that, that, that this is the reason why you know I go for it and again the, these the hawk missiles do they do actually um, they do stagger enemies, so that's that's the one area that I that's the one thing I do like about uh, I do like about the missiles, and you know I, I think that some of you guys may may ask me for maybe a, a build with the grenades. I, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think it's pretty obvious if you want the grenades how to go about it. If you're gonna go for the grenades, then don't go for the missile. You know that's fine. Because the thing is about this guy that if you want both the grenades and the missile, then you're gonna miss out on the passives probably. And the passives for this guy are really good. You're gonna want those. Uh, you're gonna want those uh, those passives. So if you, you want to go for a build that you have all the powers but no passives, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I recommend it. I think you'd probably be better with either or, either the missile or the grenades. Um, if you want to do a little bit of both, you can. I just don't. I just don't feel that that build will be as, as effective as something like this. Uh, for rank 6 on the missiles, what I go for is the uh, the Hydra missiles. So like this, um, it, it sends out two, you know, seeking projectiles. It, it sends out two missiles that are homing, you know, they go try to find anything that you shoot at. and. Again, you know, this missile in the past was really crappy. It, it, the way it went out, it kind of went in a curve. Um, I remember when it first came out, it went in some kind of curve. Now, as you can see, they kind of go straight out and then shoot like top down. They did kind of like this arc. Before, it used to do an arc to the right, and it used to hit every wall and never hit the target. <laughs> like, if you're inside a, a small map, you know, you're just screwed because that missile will never hit the target. It will always hit the wall next to you on your right. And um, now, because of the way it is, it actually works really decent. It's a smarter missile. It actually goes and seeks out the enemy. As you can tell, I'm constantly hitting my targets. Um, you know, this missile is really decent right now. Um, and when you look at it, the uh, the radius on the missile right now, it's not big. It's only 0.5 meters. And uh, the force is 280N. Uh, the damage is 280. So it's not a lot of damage. But the, uh, the good thing about the missile is the stagger capability. It actually, you know, it'll stagger the smaller enemies, um, and, and especially on gold, if you're rocking gold, you know, you have troopers, you have marauders, or you have, uh, you know, geth troopers, or Cerberus troopers, it'll, it'll keep them at bay. It'll keep on staggering them enough that you can then go right ahead and, and just finish them off with your gun. So the 280 damage is fine. It's fine, and then actually, you know, take out if the if, if the enemy is already weak, and that's the last little bit of um, health he's got. The, you'll see that the missile will actually clean him out, and it's really good at finding the targets right now. It wasn't before. It was a piece of crap before, <laughs> but it is now. So that's the way I would go for the um, for his passes. What I like to go for is pure weapon damage. Um, so w what you want to do is rank four. Go for weapon damage. For rank five, I go for headshots. And rank six, I go for weapon damage again. That gives you a total of 27.5 percent weapon damage bonus. You still get some power damage bonuses, like a 10 percent, and you get a weight capacity bonus 10. But that 
you know, the weight capacity doesn't matter in this guy. You really don't care. It's this, you know, his power. He doesn't have any powers that depend on, you know, you, you could put whatever weapon you want on this guy. This guy's a weapons platform. You know, he's, you could put any weapon, any, you could put a javelin on him. You're, you're totally fine. You don't care about power recharge. So don't think about power recharge for this guy. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And then for, for his passives, guys, I, you know, I don't go for melee. I go for all, you know, health and shields because he, he really doesn't, um, I don't know. I, I never go out there using his melee on anything. His heavy melee is decent, um, you know, but it's, it's again, it's a little, it's a little long, and his light melee takes forever. So I rarely ever use it. I really do not. There have been times where I have, um, if a marauder is front of me, in front of me, or I, I kind of uh, my particle rifle overheated, and uh, the marauder is about to shoot at me, I'll do a light melee. Or a heavy melee, depending on uh, depending on how I'm, how I'm feeling. <laughs> but uh, I'll do mostly a light melee just to stagger him and slap him in the face, and then just um, you know, get back there and, and 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 hurt him. So and 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 actually get away from him. So that's that's pretty much how I go with him, um, and and that's how it works. So yeah, yeah, guys. So that's. That's my destroyer particle rifle hawk missile badass rebuild, and you know I, I, I've noticed a lot, a lot of you guys have noticed me on the pug lobbies, and that's been cool. Thank you for your um, or your kind words, and I appreciate it. And it's been really fun playing with a lot of you guys. Uh, you guys are pretty awesome, uh, and as you guys can tell, my personality I'm pretty chill. You know I don't. <clears throat> I, I just I play with anybody, anybody and everybody, and I think it's um it's pretty cool getting to meet new people and all and. And uh, sometimes, you know, again, on Pug Lobbies, I play more aggressive, so you guys see me running around trying to kill everything. Well, <laughs> that's, that's how I roll on Pug Lobbies. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I try to make sure that on these Pug games, I am doing as much as possible, only because, and this is nothing to say on anybody else's skill, I think everybody plays well. Um, but I noticed that, especially when I play Pug games, like this is a Pug game, you know, it lasts so long, it's like 26 minutes. And it's only because not everybody is playing the same. Most people are just playing a certain way. Uh, with the team that I play, most of the time... Oh, look at this. I didn't even know where she came from. Look at that. Oh, that's horrible. The team that I... Uh, that, that I, Well, not normally, but most of the guys that I've played with, that I've trained, or you know, guys that play with me constantly, they, they, kind, of, they kind of have already gone into this flow where they know wave to wave what to do. So... There are waves that we all kind of nuke. We all just go out and we actually just, all of us, you know, we all nuke like wave 8, um, wave 5, sometimes wave 7, the trash wave, uh, wave 9. So at least we'll, all of us, at least one missile on all those waves. Or if one of us does a missile on one of those waves and, you know, the, the uh, on, on a spawn and then the spawns kind of disperse right after, most likely we probably won't do another missile. But the thing is that we make sure that we keep our platinum games to like less than 20 minutes, and it's a uh, you know it's a little faster. So in this game, this is a pug game. I, you know I don't I don't know anybody here. So number one, I'm trying to play a little bit more aggressive. I'm trying to make sure I use a few missiles. Um, I really didn't use a lot of missiles here, but I'm trying to make sure I use my missiles effectively uh, because I'm pretty sure that you know most of the guys on pug lobbies do not use theirs, and that's that's been my um my experience. Um, and that's understandable. That's totally understandable because a lot of people want to make sure they have their missiles for the objective waves. And that is totally fine. What I do is I use, uh, and this is the way I work, I use one missile in wave 5, one missile in wave 8, and one missile in wave 9. And since I can hold 6, I still have 3 missiles available um, for each objective wave. Now, mind you, in wave 3, most likely you don't need a missile. So... You know, I, I, you don't need to use a nuke because uh, wave three of platinum are usually not that difficult. Um, so it all depends. Again, it all depends on the team, right? So that's the way I usually work it. I one missile wave not five, one missile wave eight, one nuke on wave on wave nine on a spawn. And it's not just any just m nuking anything. It's just if you find a spawn. If you don't find a spawn to nuke, then that's it. I just leave it alone. I make sure there's no less than four four enemies. That, that I can shoot and nuke at, and then all the other missiles are for the objectives. So that's I, I still manage my my missiles appropriately, 
I just I you know I'm still using missiles um, in the uh, objective waves now. In a situation where like I'm playing a pug game right, and uh, the whole team gets down or something like that, and I have to do the objective myself, then you know I'm and if I don't have enough missiles, then I just have to depend on myself and kiting the enemies and all that. And you know that that takes a little bit of skill, guys. It definitely does. You have to kind of take out time to learn uh, how to work the enemies how the enemies move and 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 be able to draw the enemies away from the objective so that you can go right ahead and, um, and finish the objective especially if you don't have missiles so that's fine oh this is <laughs> this is me going to help out a teammate and like get down a lot of times it's tough when you're trying to help somebody out because um, you know, they might have enemies around them and what you want to do is destroy the enemy first right before you get them off but sometimes you could go get only a few enemies and then <laughs> that's uh, another enemy would just get you so it is what it is so yeah so going back to the missiles uh, how I use my nukes that's that's the way I go and I know that's a little different for me guys because as, as of this moment I am maxed out um, I do get a ton of missiles and I do get a lot of credits because I'm playing platinum etc and I mean just um, just the other day I saved up five million credits and I spent it all and I did get my hurricane up to nine I got my Lancer still up to like 3, which is frustrating me. Even though at 3, it's really good. It's still really good. But, um, you know, the only weapons that I'm waiting to max out are the Lancer, the Hurricane, and there is one more. I think the Block Pack Punisher, I think I have an 8 or something like that. So I have a few, few of those little weapons that I need to I need to max out, but that's about it. So I spent, I just spent the 5 million credits and then I'm back, you know. I'm, my my gear is back up. My missiles are up there, and I understand that a lot of you guys will be like, "Well, Home Vader, that's really cool how you manage your missiles, but you know, I don't, you know, I, I don't have a lot of nukes, and I don't get to play the game as much. So when I do play, I'm playing very, uh, I'm not I'm not playing using missiles as much as I I like to, and that is totally fine. That is totally fine. I mean, you know, again, like I said before, look, I mean, we're already here. Look, I still have four missiles. It, you can play the game without using missiles at all. It just takes a little longer. You know, it just takes a little longer. That's all. So I, I, all I'm saying is that normally when I play with a lot of the guys who have played with me often and on Platinum, we'll, we'll nuke certain waves because we get paid so much out of, on a Platinum waves. We get paid over 140,000 credits. So to us, it's like okay, great. You know, we'll just buy a few packs. We're done. You know, we're good. We get we get enough credits to get buy a Spectre pack or a premium Spectre pack and a Jumbo. You know, it's it's there are enough credits to do what you need to you know to to replenish yourself. So we're we're good on that part, and we can do it that way. But if you're a silver player, you're a bronze player, you know, you're a gold player, you, you know, just play as it is. You know, you don't need the nukes except for maybe the objective waves. Uh, and uh, this whole advice about nuking spawns, that's all, that's only for like platinum, it's only for you to try to shorten the time. You do not need to play like that. And I don't play like that all the time at all. <laughs> like, again, yeah, like, you know, here we are with wave 10 and I'm, I still have four missiles. So, you know, just, just a bit of advice, you know, it's, it's not, oh, okay, well, I want you guys to get better at platinum, so I'll start using your nukes. No, it's that's not what it is. It's just that in the sense of time, if you want to reduce your time, then you want to make strategies that where the entire team is somehow using their nukes and uh, you know using them effectively against uh, major spawns uh, the, on certain waves. And that's about it. Have you guys seen my um my platinum speed runs? You know, you notice that that we actually force spawns and you know we use nukes to kind of clear out the spawns and get the you know shortest amount of time. That's a strategy. And there are speed runs without, you know, that you don't have to use, uh, that, that you don't have to use missiles, and we, we do those as well. So, that's, that's all I'm saying, guys. Now, uh, I'm hoping that you guys have enjoyed this. I really, you know, I really do like this N7 Destroyer build, and it was about time that I needed to kind of update him, because, you know, the videos that I have with him are pretty old, and I didn't really go into didn't really go into what was special about him in, in in the sense of his build now he does have a few things guys that are, are interesting uh, one other thing is that he doesn't have a a, a role like a combat role it, and it would have make sense for him to have a combat role anyways he has a battle suit on he does have a hop a side hop if you take off devastator mode 
he can hop to the side. So the way I would use it, and I you don't see it here because I've learned how to play with him in such a way that I take more cover or I, I, I play behind cover everywhere I'm running. As you can see, I take I take little you know little I, I take soft cover quite a bit with this guy. Um, but let's say a banshee is shooting a warble at you. Uh, that would probably be the best time to take off Devastated more, just one brief second, and then go right ahead and do a hop to the side, so like that the Banshee Warp Ball doesn't hit you. That is pretty much the only time I probably take off Devastated mode and use his hop. He does a side hop, and that and that, that is it. Now, for some of you guys who do like to take off the Missile Launcher of the guy's back, if you notice I don't have the Missile Launcher in the back, um, you can't do the heavy melee uh, the, the the switch the, the switch weapons trick um, the way to take off the missile launcher on this guy only works if you're doing the um, you know you, you take out your nuke like I did in the beginning and you go up the ladder when switching the nuke back off so that's 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 the only way to work um, uh, to do that with him I uh, just just you know letting you guys know because some of you guys probably try to try it out and it's like no it's not working his nuke is still there and it looks you know the, I, I gotta be honest with you the nuke is cool, but it looks so dumb on on a lot of the characters. I don't know. It's just it looks kind of off. I kind of wish they um, they had an option besides doing the um, you know doing that trick to take off the nuke. And it's not a glitch, by the way, guys. That's just you know that's in game. It, it's it allows you to take off the nuke. So it is what it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, maybe next time my sexy sexy secretary slash assistant slash everything uh, will introduce the next few videos. But I don't know. Alright guys, I will catch you guys later, and uh, Invader 1 out, and this is the N7 Destroyer Hulk Missile Badass build. Take care.